Hey there, everyone. Today, we are taking a look at a feature from Neat that is designed to help solve the meeting room equity problem that everyone seems to be facing as they come out of their homes and working remotely and get back into conference rooms. People don't all have their own little square in that virtual meeting anymore. And sometimes that can make people feel a little bit excluded or like they don't have as equitable a place in the meeting as a remote attendee. Ironically, right? This is a problem for many organizations that does need to be solved for, and that's where the term meeting room equity comes from. Neat addresses this on their solutions with a feature called Symmetry. Right now, the Neat Bar and Neat Pad are certified for Microsoft Teams rooms. Other solutions are going to be certified in the coming months, and Symmetry is available across all of them. We're going to take a look at how to enable symmetry on the Neat Pad, and then we're going to give you a demo of using Neat Symmetry in a Microsoft Teams meeting. Let's dig in. Coming over to our Neat Pad, you can see we've got the Teams Rooms on Android interface here. We will turn on symmetry, although it's not called symmetry in the settings, by going to More, and then clicking Settings, and then clicking Device Settings, and finally Audio Video. Within audio video, we've got our auto framing here. And first off, it needs to be turned on. So we do have it toggled on. And right now the default of group is selected. What that means is that if you've got multiple people in a conference room, they will be captured as a group framed in and that image will be relayed to the conference or the meeting itself. However, to enable symmetry and it'll give every person in that room their own individual square in the meeting, we have to click on individuals. Once we do that, we are good to go. There's a number of other settings in here for video but, uh, and audio, but we're not gonna mess with any of those. We've selected individuals, symmetry is enabled, and we can back out of our settings. With symmetry enabled, we can now jump into the demo. So what I'm gonna do is go down to my Neat Pad, and I'm going to say Meet Now, and I will invite uh, my account on another machine, just so we've got another participant in the meeting. So as you can see with the setup here, we've got the neat bar framing me in right now. I'm only one person in the room. That's the image on the left side of the screen here. And then on the right screen, you've got the far end image that is the laptop sitting behind me. So now we need to bring a second participant into the meeting to get symmetry to work. Now I debated how to do the whole second participant thing. I know a lot of people have demoed this or used the cardboard cutouts and those work pretty well for it but I really wanted to put symmetry to the test. I know that Neat uses the silhouette of an individual to capture their presence in the room. So I thought, well, how strict are those silhouette guidelines? And with that, let's invite my guest to this meeting. And there you go. Oh, it went away, but you saw symmetry at work. We briefly fooled the Neat AI to include my buddy, Ella, my, uh, she's, she's part dog, part chupacabra, but she's a good girl. She's been sitting in this chair. There we go again. It, uh, it's kicking in. Symmetry works on silhouettes. So it is roughly associating her with a person's silhouette, but it kind of cuts in and out. It is designed to work with human beings. So we'll give it that. I just thought it would be fun to include my buddy Ella in this demo. But that is the idea behind symmetry. It captures the people in the room, captures their silhouettes, gives them each their own individual square to bring about that meeting room equity. Obviously, when you're using cardboard cutouts of people, that's a lot more consistent. If I were to bring in family into the room, that would be a lot more consistent. But that is just not quite as fun as making symmetry work with my buddy Elf. And there you go, with symmetry working again, I would like to thank you for tuning in and checking out this brief demo on how to use Neat Symmetry in a Microsoft Teams meeting with a certified for Microsoft Teams room solution, the Neat Bar with Neat Pad. If you found this helpful, please like the video, share it on social media, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and then turn on those notifications so that you don't miss out on other fun experiments just like this one. Thank you, and I hope we'll see you back here for the next device overview video.